his uh, missus is about eight years old. He had a seven blade clip about two months ago. And see, I'm brushing up against the fur again. He, this, this dog hasn't been bathed or blown out. It's just straight off the, straight, straight up on the table. And again, I'm brushing up against the coat. Stand off on me, mate. And I've got a light hand under there just to stabilize that leg. And as I can actually see the knots coming out as I brush up, his body's not too naughty at the moment. The same against the against the hair on the top. Right up here against the hair. Now um, the other spot is the head. And so I'll start with the slicker from the back of the head to the front of the head. He's actually quite naughty up here. Back of the head to the front of the head, and from the side to the middle. Left side to the middle, right side to the middle. I'm only holding the ear there to get it out of the way. And front, front to top. And I can still feel the slicker jagging on a few odd, odd knots. One ear is groomed out and the other ear isn't groomed out, which is not really the way to do it. Then back to the comb again. Now, will the comb go all the way through? Because if the comb will go all the way through, then I've done my job. And I'm on the straight away on the small, small side of it. And when you're doing this top knot, in terms of getting it into the shape I want to even put scissors near it, it's a case of like sides to middle, back to front, front to back, and you keep doing that. Now there's still a few too many knots at the back, so we do a bit more slippering. Because remember, this dog has not been bathed and blown out at all. And because he hasn't been bathed and blown out, um, you won't get a decent finish on the on the scissor work. So what I tend to do is brush them out, um, pre-trim, wash, and then a dry out, and then come back and do the final, another clip, and then the final scissor. I'm just going to throw the detangler in there just to break some of it up. Be really careful with a detangler. It's like it's a it's a flick action. Ah, that's better. Pan is now starting to move more freely through. And then what I want when I'm scissoring is I want a nice round shape. You know. So I'm, I'm imagining a circle and I'm working around that circle. And the light is not really as hot as it could be for black dog. There is his eyes, we've got to be super careful. Normally I wouldn't scissor and top knot without having done the face <laughs> already so I can see where I'm going, but I know this guy really well. So again, circle. Um, years ago, I remember talking to a show poodle groomer and she always said, when you can see the hair, you can see the light coming through, 
at the top. Yeah, you can pick it up on the video. She said you need to go back down to the bit where the light doesn't come through the hairs because that's what's going to give you nice density. But as I say, this dog hasn't been blown out. I've washed and blown out, so it's not the world's most prepared coat at this stage. Um, you see on Pooch Perfect, they, they tend to wash. They're, they're, they're presented with dogs that are super groomed, super groomed out. There's, there isn't any knots in them. So they put them straight in the bath and then they dry them and we only see. They dry them in a lot more time than it takes them than they're actually showing on TV. So I keep having this circle in my head. It's a circle that I want everything to, to look like. Then I'll go back and brush it, brush it up a bit more. Always back to front, front to back, left to right. And now I can see. Callie, give me that please. Thank you. Good girl. And now I can see I've got too much hair on this side. That's uneven. There's a bit of hair up there, a bit of hair there. And the more you the more you comb back up, the more you see how uneven it is. And around the back I want a nice curve shape. Um, these are straight scissors. But sometimes we use curved scissors. It doesn't make a lot of difference when we're professional, so whether you're straight or curved. Be really careful here. I've got to find where the edge of the ear is, and that's why I tend to mark it with my finger, hold it down, and then I know I'm just hitting hair, not skin. Um, you know when you fit skin, because you can feel it. You can feel the different texture of what it is you're trying to cut. And you learn to pull back before you've actually closed the cut. And when we're doing this sort of scissoring, um, unless it's in a competition and you want it to be picture perfect in the space of two seconds after you've finished, we tend to cut back further than we want gives a nice nice bit of density and it also means when it's growing out it's going to stay a little well it's going to stay long it's going to take longer to grow out and so we're looking as i said before we've got a front a back a left and a right so we're looking left right front back and we'll come again Every time you comb, you find the hairs that are just not quite where they should be. Now, I've combed forward, and as you can see, that's giving him a real dome over the front. So we're now going to take that dome back and give him more of a circle, giving him a real egg shape. Again, soft hands. I'm holding, but I'm not squeezing. So my hands are there to guide him on what I want, but not to hold him to where I want. If I'm holding him where I want, the dog's got a natural reaction against the hold and will fight the hold. Oops, and I just put a wrong line in because I wasn't concentrating. And I've taken him too far away from the line I was using. Never mind. Looks the same, about two weeks between a bad haircut and a, not so, and a good haircut. Mister, stay there. Look at me. Mister, look at me. And I'm getting um, 
normally in a professional salon, I'm not in my professional salon anymore, I would have had much better lighting on a black dog like this. Mister! Good boy, shake. Shake it off. Shake it off. You want them to shake, because when they shake, it's everything in the spot where it should be. <laughs> that was the ear that wasn't done. Probably can't see that because my hand's in the way. So what I'm doing is I'm breaking up the knots and I'm teasing the broken bit down towards the end of the year. And you can actually see it, see that? I don't know if you can pick it up on the video. There's a lighter grey there, which is actually the dead hair that's in the knot. And because you do the top, what you do underneath. Now then this is just pulling the bits that are still sitting there out. And then you get the nice lines at the bottom of the ears. Bring the ears down, twist them slightly, and then cut them straight across. Bring the ears down. Turn around, mate, turn around. Oops. And you always find bits when you turn at a different angle that you missed. Ears, bring them down. It's actually better when it's a properly dried out dog. Twist them slightly and see how there's unevenness at the end of those ears. Well, you can't because he put his head in the way. And then just even it up. And then you look in the front and you see whether you've actually evened them the same left and right. And then very you have it. Tail, um, tail is very much like the ears. He gets a very, very knotty tail. So I've got to hold it right at the top. And he often sits down on the tail, which is good. Because, I don't know whether you could see that. Because um, I can actually use my hand braced against the table. To groom his tail out. Again, the demata, just to break it all up. Yeah, hold on. Good boy. Good boy. And then comb it out. gone straight into the narrower closer together tines which is no cheating and the tail's the same get it twist twist right to the end and at the end nice square and then um, you would, as I haven't done, but you would brush it all up. He's been, he had a really rough clip a couple of weeks ago. Rough as in, I didn't wash him and then um, dry him and then do the other, do the next clip. So as you can see, this is really uneven lengths all over the place. See that, see how that's longer than anywhere else? That's pretty cl classic of the first clip because it's what we call a rough clip. You won't get a proper, that nice smooth look that you see on the, the poodles unless you've um, clipped, washed, dried out, and clipped. Or washed, dried out, clipped, clipped. 
takes at least two or three passes of the clip to get that lovely plushness that you see. Okay, hope that you